Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Looking at the chance for some showers and a couple of downpours as we go through the rest of the afternoon. Let's get a look at live Doppler radar and you can see where most of the action is. It's off to our west. We've been seeing frequent downpours working across eastern Connecticut from uh, Groton, New London, right up through Willimantic and up into central Massachusetts. But we're not out of the woods. You know, it's a couple of uh, rain showers here and there. Will be a couple of downpours from time to time as well. Our threat tracker for today, low chance of severe weather. That begins to change tomorrow, especially late in the day. Showers, maybe some rumbles of thunder, especially late day and during the night. We're looking at the flash flood potential late tomorrow and through the daytime on Thursday. We'll see the shower chances actually rise for Thursday, especially uh, late in the day, we could be looking at some isolated strong thunderstorms. A for, uh, forecast for the afternoon, though, as I mentioned, just a couple of showers. We've got some filtered sun out there right now with lots of clouds, but some sun. 82 degrees wind from the south at 16. Here is Newport. Looks a little brighter here. Uh, temperature 75 with a wind from the south at 14 miles an hour and still very humid. You can see these showers developing here in southern New England uh, throughout the morning hours, but notice off to our West. We have a lot of showers and downpours out here across New York and Pennsylvania. That's where the plume of tropical moisture is right now. Remember over the weekend it was over us. Now it's shifted off to our west. We're going to be seeing that plume of moisture working its way back into southern New England. That's why we're looking at the chance of showers and downpours to go up late tomorrow and through the daytime on Thursday as it works its way across the area. So your forecast hour by hour as we go through the afternoon, looking at the chance of a couple of downpours from time to time, taking you through the nighttime tonight, basically same deal. A couple of showers, maybe a couple of isolated downpours, but notice especially late tomorrow, we begin to see the showers and downpour threat increase. Here we are 8 o'clock Thursday morning. Showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, and that'll continue through much of the day on Thursday, especially for at least the uh, first three quarters of the day through the uh, mid-afternoon. This afternoon, we're looking at temperatures to be up around 83 degrees, very humid, chance for a couple of showers and isolated downpours, not raining all the time. Most areas will probably stay dry. Forecast for tonight, continued humid with some patchy fog developing, about 72 degrees for your overnight low temperatures. Seven day forecast tomorrow, basically, uh, Kind of off and on showers, especially later in the day. Maybe a rumble of thunder. Temperatures getting into the upper 70s and lower 80s in the afternoon on Thursday. Again, we're watching for the potential for some flash flooding late Wednesday and through most of the day on Thursday. Showers likely, some uh, downpours certainly possible. Friday looks to be a little bit drier, but very warm, still kind of humid. Could be a couple of showers around on Saturday. I think we lose a little bit of the humidity as we go into the second half of the weekend. Sunshine. 84 degrees on Sunday, Monday about 83 degrees with a blend of sunshine and clouds. So we've got that Florida feel to the air, at least into the beginning of the weekend. What an interesting satellite view of the almost plumes of clouds. It, it is pretty neat, yeah. isn't it? Uh, little streets of clouds, a little bit of sun, cloud, sun, cloud. That's what it feels like out there today. Yeah. All right, TJ, thanks so much. Now in stories coming up new tonight, starting live at 5. Our coverage for you of the nurses' strike continues. We're going in-depth, taking a look at how this ongoing strike is having an impact on wait times at local hospitals. Then new at 5.30, are flying cars ready for takeoff? A special hearing taking place on Capitol Hill today. What Uber and NASA have to say. And new at 6, we're looking into a proposal being considered in Warwick now to charge students a fee to ride the school bus. Those stories plus all the day's breaking news later on Eyewitness News. If you're not home by 6 o'clock, you can get an update on all the day's big stories every weeknight on Eyewitness News at 6.30 on Fox Providence. Well, police say they have now found the man who they say 